Hey, what's going on everybody? Derek here. This is a direct response to one of the Base Nation Academy members. He had a question on one of the lessons and tutorials inside of the site. I figured I'll address everyone at the same time, so let's get into it. So Powell G submitted this question. He said, Derek, I have a question. I have a backing track with a loop D minor chord. I'm practicing D minor arpeggios over this, and I've noticed that A sharp major chord creates interesting resolution and fills when played over a D minor chord. Also, A Locrian fits nicely. Could you explain why D minor and A sharp major chords fit so nicely together? So, first of all, thank you for your submission, and I'll tell you exactly why. I wanna go through this real time. So, he says, I'm practicing arpeggios over D minor chord. I'm just playing a D minor seven chord. It can be a D minor triad, uh, doesn't matter. So. Uh, D minor, so I'm practicing arpeggio. All right, practicing arpeggios. Perfect. Awesome way to start that off playing along to chorus, especially creating different bass lines. So now you're saying you're playing with a D minor chord looped. So let's do. So that's a D minor triad. I'll just keep it as open as possible. Um, let's add a bass line to that. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, so D minor chord looped with the bass line. I'm just playing the D for the root note of the bass. Okay, so he says A sharp major chord fits perfectly, or B flat major chord, uh, fits perfectly over this. So, so that's a B flat major seven chord, or B flat triad, okay? So the B flat A sharp, okay, it's same note, just wanna make sure you have that, <laughs> you know that. Okay, so B flat is what you wanna use, or say, technically cor correct, okay? So, so, I'll stop that for a minute. B flat major chord. So I'm just, for this instance, I'm playing a major seven chord. I don't know exactly what chord you were playing. You just said B flat major. Okay, so you can play either one, either or. But if you go back to the lessons before, I said understanding the minor key was actually released not too long ago. Understanding the minor key, if you're in a key of D minor, okay, that's the relative minor to F major. So D minor, uh, that's the first chord, that's your root note. That will be a minor chord. The two of that scale will be a minor chord too. There goes your one, your relative major, right? The fourth chord will be a minor as well. Fifth chord will be a minor as well, if you're in a key of D minor. And then the sixth note will be major. So if you remember understanding the, the minor key, it's almost like you're starting on the sixth mode, right? The Aeolian, right? The next note will be, the E will be starting the Locrian mode, the, the one will be starting the Ionian mode, the F, which is your relative major. The, uh, the G will be your Dorian mode, which makes it minor. Uh, Phrygian will be your A. And then Lydian. sharp or your B flat chord. So that's why it sounds so good on top of it because it's within the key. Every single note lines up. You have a B flat, uh, if you're playing a major seven chord, uh, D and an A, okay? B flat, D, A. Or you can play it just B flat, D, F, right? With the triad, okay? So either way, you have the same notes that you have in a D minor. So you have D, So you have all of those notes, no matter which chord you do, all right? Even if you do the seven chord, so you, like I said before, you have B flat, D, A. Yeah, I'm just trying to show you physically uh, the shape of it. Same 
same exact notes. So that's why it fits so good. All right, so let's play around with it. So I'm gonna play the B flat Lydian or the A sharp, B flat Lydian scale, or even the B flat chord or triad or the major seven chord on top of this D minor seven loop or D minor, it's not even, yeah, it's not even a D minor seven, it's just a D minor triad. Okay, let's see how this works so well together. All right, so let's see what we come up with. So it's an A minor, A, A sharp, or B flat. I'm playing the arpeggios. I'm playing the arpeggio of the, of the B flat Lydian. Right, the one, three, five, seven. I'm just playing around with it and just seeing what I can come up with. Triad, the arpeggio, and just some variations of the scale. But I'm in the key of D minor. So to wrap it up in fewer words, you're starting on the sixth note of the D natural minor scale which will be a major chord. Hope that helps. Keep submitting your questions and I'll see you in the next one.